Okay. Okay, so I've been asked uh, a great question on how do you um, stay in the observer and go about dating? And this is, um, this is a great question because there's a fear that if you're in the observer, you, you'd be boring or you're a vegetable, you won't have anything to say, and so the dating is not gonna go well. So the way I recommend uh, dating is to practice the observer when uh, you're at home, just being the solid observer, being the witnesser of your thoughts, being the witnesser of your body. And then when you go on dating, practice uh, speaking and talking and trying to be interesting, but at the same time being the observer of you trying to make a conversation and be interesting, maybe crack a few jokes, but at the same time simultaneously practice being in the observer. So you're not to be in the dating situation, just being in the observer and being silent. Uh, which probably won't be a great thing uh, for dating unless the other person's into silence as well. So with, when I was learning the observer, first I learned to be in the observer while I was sitting down with my eyes closed, then you, I learned to be in the observer with my eyes open, then being in the observer uh, walking, and then being in the observer being able to talk and simultaneously being the observer. So you practice transcending not identifying with your thoughts and your body and what's being said while still remaining in the observer. So you practice that in dating situations. So in the beginning, you might find it hard when you're in a dating situation to re-identify with your thoughts and your body and lose the observer, but you keep going back to the observer uh, and before you go on a date, you know, practice being solidly in the observer, watch some Muji or you can watch some of my videos to be in the observer. And also you can take breaks. If you get re-identified with your thoughts and your body on the date, then you can go for a toilet break and just go back into the observer of your thoughts, the observer of your body. When you're in the dating situation, practice being the observer of you and the other person, but also transcending your capacity to talk and be interesting while still remaining in the observer. So it takes work and transcending, but with time, uh, you can learn to learn to do that, crack jokes, and still be in the observer, you, and maintain this witnessing. It's like almost like your personality is talking, but you're still in the witnessing of your personality and the interactions that are going on on the date.